Hi everyone, Austin here. Tita Jerdy will join us in a minute, but he asked me to vlog today. We're gonna meet him just to intro the video. Actually, this is a sneak peek of what the video today is about. He asked me to grab this from the gym. It's his stuff. Uh, he's gonna show what's inside. I actually didn't look what is inside yet because I want it to be a surprise for myself too. <laughs> So it's just a bit traffic now and we're gonna go to Metcon. That's where he usually works out. I worked out already this morning. Bang! Here. Uh, you can see that in my Instagram. Give it a follow. Bang! Here. That's my Instagram handle. Uh, you can also follow Tita Jerdy here. That's his Instagram. And of course, we also have our Tita Fit Instagram page which you can check here. Alright, uh, it's just a bit traffic now, uh, so we're trying out this new style, this vlog style. Let us know down below, uh, our videos get lots of views but not so much comments, so I'm not sure why that is. So right now, here I am asking you guys to please comment down below on what you think of this style, this vlog style, what more would you like to see from the channel, what topics would you like us to see, what gyms would you like us to check out here in the Philippines. We just love to interact with you guys. So yeah, leave your comment down below and we'll see you guys in a bit. So we're here, um, it's really hot, but first let's get some coffee. So I'm just waiting for Dita Jerdy and we'll show you what's inside this bag soon, but for now Let's show you the bikes here. Coffee muna tayo. Tapos workout. And yeah, we're here at Cafe Rista. This is, I know, this is just where I, where I come every day or at least a couple of times a week. I have coffee here before working out upstairs. This is along Brixton Avenue Street. So it's along Brixton, near that BGC Bridge. And I love the coffee here. I have really, really good coffee. I like the vibe. Motorcycles, super into motorcycles. If you've been following me on Instagram, shameless plug, follow at there then underscore if you haven't yet. I'm really into motorcycles. Okay, and it's a vibe, as you can see. So I like chilling here. A lot of guys who are into motorcycles like looking at their motorcycles, at their bikes, while they're having coffee. Here, you can look at other people's bikes too and they have really, really, really nice bikes. Like, right just here today, like, you know, this Hayabusa, this monster here, Suzuki Hayabusa. Over there, yeah, but Scrambler, Desert Sled, Fast House. That's a limited run of the Dupati Scrambler Desert Sled. And the Desert Sled, uh, that's with the branding of Fast House. So there's, there's a Multistrada Enduro over there and then the red one there, that's a MV Augusta Super Veloce. That's motorcycle art. And you even have like all sorts of bikes up to a Vespa Primavera over here. Hey, a lot of you guys with really, really nice bikes hang out here every day. If you come here on the regular, you'll see like aside from coffee, they hang out inside Humidor Manila, smoke a couple of cigars, Quintuan lang sila doon all afternoon. You know, if you're into that kind of thing, go then right upstairs, of course, is Metcon Group. And today I'm just gonna do some weightlifting. We've been teaching you naman about our gear, like a lot of like shoes, you know. So today we're also going to talk about some of the gear that you may want to look into if you're getting into either weightlifting or a CrossFit. 
for functional training in general. And siguro the difference is that a lot of what I talk about, ibang iba siya from what like say a bodybuilder vlogger will tell you, like yung gear na gamit nila. Ano, Siyempre, ibang gear yung gamit nila, di ba? Obvious ba? Ibang gear yun. Pero <laughs> yung gear na sinasabi ko is just accessories and stuff kung nag weightlifting or crossfit. So, we're gonna get into that in a bit. Ubusin ko lang yung kape ko. So, just doing some weightlifting today. Uh, weightlifting and uh, at the end of the, after my weightlifting technique drills, I'm going to do some uh, strict pull-ups and some a little bit of work for my upper, well, basically my chest in general. Because I noticed that since I got back to working out, since I got back to working out, uh, I've been consistent now for this is the first time in 2022 that I was able to complete four weeks of working out. Because of various <laughs> issues, in January it was COVID, um, February I had a dental procedure done, what was that? March, I forget. And then in March, I had a really bad case of sore eyes, super bad case of sore eyes. Uh, last time they got an elementary pound, three days, four days. It was three weeks in Abu. As in, like, I had no idea that I was going to be for adult. So now, I've been able to get a bit of a groove. But that's what I noticed. I've doing a lot of weightlifting recently. Weightlifting as in clean and jerk and snatch. It's like a little bit of a little bit of chest. So I need to do, get back into more crossfit oriented workouts. Balance it out. Because if you're just doing pure weightlifting, snatch, clean and jerk, ganun, technique drills, you're going to be a little bit of the aesthetics. <laughs> you can't perform. <laughs> Japor. Japor. <laughs> so you're not working out again? Huh? You're not working out again? Work out now. Sabi ko kanina, di ba? <laughs> work out now. Uh, guys, follow niyo yung vlog niya. Meron siyang solo vlog. Austin Cruz, aka Road to Tito Fan. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a um, weightlifting thumb tape. It's different from like other kinds of tape because the tape sticks to the tape. So hindi siya didikit, hindi siya kakapit sa balat mo. It's not going to stick to your skin. You have to wrap the tape and it'll only stick to the tape itself. So it protects your thumbs kasi when you're doing weightlifting, you're always in hook grip. So hook grip is like this and basically that can like tear up the skin off the inside of your thumbs and you do enough. So it just protects it.
These are wrist straps, so you just tie them like that, and then you pull them, yeah, and they tighten up. And then let's do the other one. So these are from Ninja Panda. Ninja Panda. No. No. Local brand? No. Uh, China. 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 Same method. Weightlifting, China, number one. So it doesn't have to be tight, because once you get the straps around, then you just loop it under there one if you're twice for safety <laughs> and then again that loosens it up the other way tightens it so there you are Okay, so just did some weightlifting today. I'll do a little bit of aesthetic spa in a bit. Some chest and pull-ups. Strict pull-ups, of course, whenever I do strength. Pero anyways, today I wanted to talk about some of the accessories and gear that you might need if you're doing workouts that are biased towards CrossFit or even weightlifting. So the very first one, let's talk about weightlifting first before we move on to CrossFit because it's a little bit more than So weightlifting, the very very number one weightlifting coaches who require this talaga, weightlifting shoes. So I'm not wearing weightlifting shoes because the Nike Metcon line, which I'm a big fan of, does fairly well at it. If you're not handling like weights that are like professional weightlifter level or even amateur weightlifter level, no. So. There was even this one, I think Japanese na professional weightlifter, like Olympic level weightlifter. He did like the world championships or something like that wearing Nike Metcons. If I'm not mistaken, they were Metcon 4s some years ago. So the Metcons are okay, but if you really want to go that weightlifting route, stability, the weight and how it helps your ankle mobility, how it helps, uh, especially if you have a lot of mobility issues, no? a weightlifting shoe will be better plus it works really well with the wooden platforms you really have some uh, feedback using those shoes that's why when you watch weightlifting whenever they jump under their snatch or their jerks you know what I mean the shoes really like hit the the platform and you really hear that you go in that can only be done with weightlifting shoes so Common ones are the Nike Romaleos. Used to be the Adi Powers. I don't know if they still make those. The last Adi Power I was aware of was the one that used that boa lacing system that you screw on to tighten. But the Romaleos, I think now they're at the fourth. Romaleos fourth. On the more budget end, there's the Nike Savaleos and other brands like Anta, Asics, they also make their own versions of weightlifting shoes but they're a little bit harder to buy, if you ask me, harder to acquire. Whereas with Nike, you can just go to the Nike website and nike.com and you can order. After the weightlifting shoes, the next one is wrist straps which I just used for heavy overhead movements. Now, I don't believe you should use them for all your sets but definitely on the heavier sets, they will help stability of your wrists they keep those ligaments in place and uh, it does add a little bit of confidence these wrist straps specific for weightlifting they're not the typical ones you'll find na wrist support na may velcro so those are more for power lifting i think you can buy those at most sporting goods stores pero these wrist straps generally you can find them more at stores that 
are more geared towards functional training, CrossFit, weightlifting. So what I was using earlier is from Ninja Panda. I used to also use this brand called Strength Wraps. They're online, if I'm not mistaken. They should still be around, <laughs> you know, it was a long time ago. You buy one and you can use them for years and years and years. Now, I had a couple of pairs because back a few years ago, pre-pandemic, I used to compete. So, syempre, when you're competing, minsan gusto mo mas maraming gear, diba? So, additional motivation yun to compete. Next one, tape. Thumb tape. Again, you can't get this. This, yung like, a lot of athletes, they use a brand called Mueller Tape for a variety of reasons. But I don't think Mueller makes weightlifting thumb tape. You'll have to get this from something like Ninja Panda or even Rogue Fitness. Uh, probably come out with this and more weightlifting bias uh, suppliers. So again, when we're talking about weightlifting, that refers to the Olympic lifts. Namely, the snatch and the clean and jerk. So I hope you're not confusing weightlifting with the act of lifting weights. Okay, the act of lifting weights. So be more weightlifting and no. Doesn't work like that. So weightlifting is a Olympic sport. Again, as you all know, in the Philippines, we have a very, very famous athlete who won gold, who gave us our first gold in the Olympics since forever. Si Heidi Lindias, and that was in the sport of weightlifting. Now, the next piece of gear I would like to talk about are knee sleeves. Now, generally. I used to use these knee sleeves. They provide compression to your knees and warmth. Especially if you're training in a cold environment. Minsan, matagal eh. Malamig yung tuhod mo. So, these will help. And especially, compression. If you have a little bit of some issues sa knees, they'll also give you a little bit more confidence. But of course, they're not a substitute for good technique and good form. <laughs> or uh, having your knees in the proper position when you squat. But, they do, however, give a lot of comfort. Now, some of the good brands I've used include Reband, R-E-H-B-A-N-D. You can get that online again. And another one that I got from this store, a sporting goods store at a local mall. I think it was at Virtus North, dun sa taas, sa uh, may taas ng, ano yun eh, taas ng Titan. I forgot the name of the store. Pero they carry rock tape, rock tape knee sleeves. So th those are what I have been using recently. Hindi ko lang dala ngayon kasi I haven't been lifting that heavy. Eh, recently now I normally use that when my sets of back squats are starting to go above like maybe 250 or something like that but lately I haven't been lifting nearly as heavy <laughs> okay. and then last but not the least weightlifting belt if you are really really going heavy you may want to consider the use of a weightlifting belt now this one you can get at a lot of different stores they carry weightlifting belt a lot of the crossfitters they use this brand called Tupod P2 P-O-O-D uh, online din yun ngayon naman a lot of these sites offer worldwide shipping so that's not really going to be a problem to acquire that sorry bonus in case you plan on competing in weightlifting, they require you to wear a singlet. <laughs> a weightlifting singlet. Now that's that's a little bit harder to come by. I actually don't know where to get those. Maybe, I don't know, Rogue or... Shopee. Shopee. <laughs> China number one. Baka dun galing. Dun most likely, dun naman galing. But I, I'm not sure anyway. Now let's move on to functional fitness, CrossFit. Uh, first thing is your jump rope. Of course, jump rope. Pero yung jump rope na ginagamit in CrossFit. Hang on, let me get my bag and goodie. Goodie bag. So, the jump rope, I use this brand, RX Smart Gear. They're based in the US, I think San Diego. A lot of CrossFitters use this brand, RX Smart Gear. They're actually the original ones who had this mechanism. So, you can customize the color of the rope the length of the cable, exactly to your height specifications. On the site, there's a guide on how to measure. So, I'm not gonna unravel it because it's hard to use. It's hard to, but if you can see, since we do double unders in CrossFit, look at how that spins. That means that you don't have to fatigue your shoulders to use, to use the rope. Now here, Metcon, they also have their own version. See, spins the same. Okay, so you can probably get this, get in touch with Metcon group. Coach Anton, that's another piece of gear that's very, very important to CrossFitters. Next one, uh, these are called gymnastic grips. So you know in CrossFit, we do things like kipping pull-ups, muscle-ups, high volume, toes to bar, basically a lot of hanging from the bar. 
Now generally, aside from swerte mo na if kalyo lang, but generally, at that high of a volume, mapupunitan ka pa minsan. So, these come in handy. Now, these are two types, so different brands. This is Bear Complex. So, this one, you can put your fingers inside. See? Um, yeah, it, it, it basically works like this. And then you wrap your hand around the bar. And this one, this is a, a, ver a different version also from Ninja Panda. You can also get it from Metcon Group. And strap it around. Same as the other one, you still strap it around. But this one does not have holes in your hand. So basically, you can make like this kind of dowel kind of thing around the bar. Yeah, I'll show that in a bit. It protects your hands from rips and more calluses or the calluses that hurt. So that's the other one. And basically, you know what? I think that's about it. That's about the gear that you need for a CrossFit. Am I missing anything, Austin? Wala ka naman chalk dyan, diba? Chalk! <laughs> chalk, basically. You do need chalk for a lot of barbell work. Uh, especially in a humid country such as ours, simply not gonna work if wala kang chalk. So, basically, that's pretty much it. If you've made it this far, please don't forget to like the video. That helps us, especially if it offered some value to you. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. My name is Jared and Conde. If you have friends that can benefit from these, this video, please don't forget to share it with them. Um, all it takes is a share down there, send it to their Facebook Messenger, Telegram, or whatnot, and they can benefit from this video just as much as you. If you enjoyed it, thank you so much. Let us know down in the comments uh, what you think. You know, uh, Did you like the coffee? Did you like the motorcycles? Did you like the workout? Did you like the gear? Uh, let us know what you think of this new format with Austin, of course. <laughs> okay. So let us know. Uh, check out Austin's YouTube channel if you want to see him uh, see him go out on his dates and things like that. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one.